this cooler all set up and it works absolutely perfect it's very very secure um, I've just went with a different route as you can see I've got a super rack right here so I'm going to be doing some future videos with this rack so stay tuned if you want to see uh, my thoughts and opinions I'm going to fully test this thing uh, I never put the the uh, cooler on the back with the full can so I, I basically tested it out and if you want to build this this is great for about a hundred bucks you can have an awesome cooler it's not going to go anywhere you can shake the entire ski what I'm about to show you with this on the back so it's a $40 cooler about $60 in some hardware and it looks amazing on the back of the ski I love it so if I ever go out and I need a big cooler um, say fill it up with ice or you just want some extra you can fill it up with extra accessories too you don't even have to use it with a cooler all right so real quick this is how the cooler looks on the back of this thing i don't have the strap the extra tied off but it is tight um and then i got these turnbuckles uh they're not exactly i don't have the nuts tight that's just tight by hand but uh you can see the lid itself can come off so i don't have the screws in this uh, little top piece right here but you can put two screws and this holds the hinge so if you put this this was where the wheels were but i took the wheels and all that off but that holds the hinge pins right there and the two screws go right there and if you take that off then you can take the lid itself off and uh, then you can put the gas cans in in this orientation and two gas cans fit perfectly as you can see and this thing i'm moving the whole ski so as you can see it's not going anywhere i've got these two stainless and they're not they're just hand tight so as you can see you can crank those down with a wrench um it's close but it's not touching the ski physically so as you can see right here there's a gap um I can get really close in there it's close but as you can see there's a gap there's nothing touching the ski so that's how it looks uh, from the front the side and from the back and then this strap right here you just tie all this extra that can be like a security you could tie that to the front and then it's hooked to this hook right here it's up against the plastic so there's nothing going to be rubbing no metal and then there's hooked right here there's nothing going to be rubbing the ski up against the plastic bumper and it almost looks like it's made for it uh, right in there and right in there so pretty cool how that fit pretty excited with it and if you put this strap you put it up there and that's how it'll look from the back with it all tidied up all right, so basically to sum this up, if you do want an easy, cheap, do-it-yourself rack on the back that you can possibly, uh, you could even carry one gas can. Um, I, I just wouldn't advise two gas cans and the way that I ride, I ride rough. Um, basically, I do turns, you know, it, as fast as I can go. But um, I would not advise the plastic because the plastic, I mean, it does it, it is hard plastic, but it does flex. I mean, if you if you really try to flex the plastic, especially in the center, but the corners they're they're really stout and strong. But uh, you guys, you can design this any way you want. This is just the way I did it, and I had to put the hook here. Um, I wanted to put the hooks in the corners, but the gas cans, um, the way the gas cans, it wouldn't allow. I could only put. The hooks in one side of the corners so yeah you feel free to update you know however you want to do it but uh that's how i did it so i'm going to be using this for the gas cans um aluminum powder coated it's not going to go anywhere it's a beautiful rack so stay tuned there's going to be a whole lot more videos and there's also going to be a video of my favorite mount right here so if you you don't have one of these you got to get one you have to get this like this is amazing uh ram mounts there's going to be a link in the description below but i'm going to do a full video on this and it's beautiful like you don't have to edit the jet ski 
like cut anything drill anything it just fits on there with the ride system it don't even contact it you have plenty of room you don't have to drill into the ski i've seen a lot of people put stuff like gps right here phone is everything and you know all the new phones are waterproof to like mainly to like 30 feet even if you flip the ski this is not going to go anywhere like it's it's on there this is a solid steel core this is just a rubber grip right here i've already took it all apart and looked up underneath there and it is solid so check out my future videos stay tuned here we go